a series of photos depicting a triangular UFO diving into the sea. These photos strongly remind some of you of the Arctic UFO photographs USS Trepang. Debunkers like, for example, Mick West, who has been in the media lately as much as Kim Kardashian, are doing everything they can do to debunk this UFO case, which is a good thing at a certain level. The photos recently appeared on Reddit and were quickly picked up by the debunking forum Metabunk founded by Mick West. Honestly, I think Mr. West is doing a great job. But I don't always agree with him. Many have felt the same lately. His first argument is, quote, What looks fake to me is the grain. It looks like the Photoshop add noise filter, which add noise at pixel resolution rather than some actual film grain, so you get lots of random short lines. This is an incorrect statement. The add noise filter applies random pixels to an image, simulating the result of shooting pictures on high-speed film. Then he scans a photo of 600 dpi and calls this grain. What Mick calls grain is in fact pixelation. A pixelated image will appear blurry and blocky like in Mick's photo. He created a false foundation to build his debunk, which is in my opinion not the way a debunker should work. Here is a real photo with a lot of noise due to underexposure, the most common cause. Noise is made up of pixels not correctly representing the color or exposure of the scene. Random short lines are visible too in this real photo. Link to the original photo is in the description. Someone in the forum made a very good argument. The waves are in two pictures the same. Mick fail to see the point his own user is making. Waves in the sea can never ever be the same. When I place this photo over each other, you can see that the waves match exactly. This is not possible, not even in heaven. This is the first evidence that this is a hoax. What nobody talks about, and that is actually the first thing you should look at, the weather. The sun is shining in this photo. but. When the sun is shining, the triangular UFO shouldn't look like this. Photo 1 looks very real, but photo 3 is not in proportion to the weather situation at that time. In fact, as you can see for yourself, the color grading is completely different. Actually, the fake UFO is not consistent with the light source, namely the sun. When there is a light source, there is a light angle, so there is always light and shadow, and that doesn't translate in this series of photos. Oops, I debunked the debunker and the photos in a few minutes. Nothing against Mick, he's doing a hell of a job, but he must remember one thing. When you crown yourself a debunker, you have to be one thing. Factual. Nothing else matters. Don't forget to watch the next video.